Hello. 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 Hi, Hello. Sid. Can I call you Sid? Yeah, of course. That's my name. <laughs> Lovely to see you. You're very punctual. I was told you were running late, but obviously not. Yeah, no, we're we're right on time now. We've caught back up. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Well, Kentish girl talking to Kentish boy here. Yeah? So this is sort Yay. of hometown stuff. Yeah. Lovely to talk with you, Sydney. Uh, Sid. Um, your Bye. record, I have to say, uh, you have amazing pitch. Uh, power and tone in your voice. Uh, what who were you listening to when you were growing up to actually develop a style uh, like that? So I'm quite an old soul. Um, I was I was obsessed with Elvis. Like I loved Elvis. Um, Frank Sinatra. I Doris Day. Um, loved Doris Day. Judy Garland. Barbara Streisand. Um, there were so many. I, I am quite the old soul. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of soul, I'm representing a soul soul program here. Uh, your music tends to be more uh, show or theatre orientated, from what I gather from the album, Sid. Uh, but you must have some subliminal soul influence there somewhere, like Aretha Franklin, oh, Aretha James. My goodness, yes, I am an old school old school soul and funk uh, lover. Have you ever heard of Caster Soul Weekend? Indeed, I have. Yeah. I've the first time I went, I was eighteen. <laughs> ah, so um, yeah, I am a like Margate Soul Festival. I am there. I'm a big soul lover. Um, Aretha Franklin, yes. Oh, Etta James. All, all of the soul, all of the jazz. There's, oh, there's so many. There, there is so many. But big soul, big soul heart for sure. <laughs> That's good. I'm guessing these names don't come up very much in interviews since you won BGT. <laughs> well, they do ask. They ask and then I tell them. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, with the album, were you recording with an orchestra in the studio or were you singing over band tracks or how did that work out? I was really lucky, really lucky enough to go to Prague and record with the live orchestra. Which was a beautiful experience. You see, you seriously cannot be a live orchestra. It was magical. Very blessed indeed to have done uh, that. And it comes through because you obviously interact with the with the orchestra as well, Sid. So you're not actually singing to a tape. You've got the musicians there. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. Like an out of body experience for sure. When I was sitting there with. There was loads of them. It was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I've been prompted to ask you, obviously the album was released on, on Friday. Uh, seeing the pictures of you f holding your own first finished copy, it uh, must have been a, li a lifetime revelation, Sid. Oh, and it's something that I never expected for me. That you, you know, there's some things you just don't think are written for you. But the, when I held that, very emotional, uh, surreal moment for sure. I, yeah. I took it. I won't forget that. Yeah. On the musical sense, you, you, you've got obviously training almost of a classical style as well as the, the, the pop and soul things. Uh, did you have any formal training? Yes, I went to college. Um, in Downham, I went to college. Um, for about three years, I did a musical theatre course. Okay, yeah. And then I don't stop training, like even now, like... Even before then, whenever I could get my hand on a singing lesson, I'm doing that. You need to definitely need to practice your craft. Yeah, sure. yeah. And I'm guessing the cruise ships was obviously a good experience of t dealing with people live and firsthand. It was <laughs> cruise ships was a great experience. It was uh, exactly what I needed at the time. Um, I was very young, um, lived the most amazing life on the ship. And performing every day, singing, and that's ex and traveling the world at the same time. What what more could you have asked? That's a good and foundation I, for you. Yeah, de definitely it was my first job, so it, it taught me a lot. I know people to this day that when was the last time I was on a cruise ship? Seven years ago. Um, that haven't left since. People just love it, and then they just stay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. Now, with my way, it's a song most people are familiar with. Uh, the interpretation is definitely a Sid Christmas ver uh, interpretation, rather than a Paul Anker or a Frank Sinatra, despite your influences. And of course, you do the odd thing, you go up a key in the last note rather than going down a key. How did that come about? Um, trial and error is creative process. Um, and you need creative space, you, you need time. So I had about five weeks from my audition or when I, I realized what I wanted to do, but when, when my audition came out in April, I had about five weeks before the live show. That's when I went into proper full-time practice for my way. So then we figured, we figured it out um, and created new things for the, for the song. It was amazing. It was a lovely process and it was, how my way is today <laughs> which worked out nicely i'm included in soul shows now Sid, so that shows how you cross the all sorts of barriers with the song and the performance uh, i equate it have you heard of lorraine ellison from the soul world i have yeah well i just put it in the same bag as stay with me by lorraine ellison that really powerful orchestral dynamic performance that you've really matched there Sid. oh amazing thank you <laughs> uh, and you've got a tour coming up in, in, in the new year i'm down to hopefully to going to see you somewhere in central london so uh, uh preparation for that going well yes well we haven't started with the tour yet but i have firm ideas of what i want to do and the message that i want to get out and all things tour so we when it comes to sitting down at least i've got a foundation in my mind of what i want to do yeah. And do you choose your own set list or you've got a producer or a manager that chooses your set list with you? Um, I'll choose. I'll definitely have help if I'm very if I'm unsure. I'll have people to turn to. But um, I think the set list will be quite easy for me because I want to tell my story. And there's so many songs that are uh, that go in with that. It's just, I think, like narrowing them down to exactly what I want to say. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so did you use a similar process for the choosing tracks for the album set, then, Sid? Well, the album was, was, a, was a little bit more difficult because there is so many songs that I had to narrow them down to, I suppose, a few. The BGT songs had to be on there, of course. Um, so then... It really narrowed it down to about five or four, four that I needed on there because I, I wanted the Christmas songs on there. So then I had about four to play with to figure out what I wanted. <laughs> That's not very much to choose from when you've got the realms of music to choose from. You've done a good job in actually narrowing it down. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope people like them. I hope I've done the right, I picked the right ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have. I think you have. Uh, so uh, on, on the question of the album and artistic stuff, um, uh, do you, you, you're still working with the voice coach or how do you develop your vocal talent even further? I have a routine that I do to keep up my vocal strength, the agility. Um, it's a muscle. It needs to be worked. It's like anything. And it's practice. But um, I will be booking Annabelle, which is my vocal coach. Um, Annabelle Williams, her name is. I will be booking whenever I've got a really big event coming and I will, for the tour, 100%, I will be like, help me. She's <laughs> 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 a goddess within the voice. So, yeah, I 100% still be doing my vocal lessons for sure. <laughs> OK, uh, I've seen mixed comments about talent shows and the background of talent shows from various artists. You've clearly had a good experience, Sid, and it's something you recommend to others to, to try, or would you be a bit wary about how people go into talent shows? I don't. I, th I think, I wish I would have done it. I don't wish I would have done it sooner because I feel like everything that's meant for you won't pass you by. And if it was your time, it's your time. Um, but I would say... If you can get yourself on a platform, if you want to work in whatever pro profession that you want to be in, there are so many platforms for everything. Get yourself on a platform. Um, it just gives you more opportunity and more work, which is 
why we all have dreams at the end of the day, isn't it? Well, that's right. You're entertaining, you're entertaining, and you go out there to as many platforms as you can get on. There's many TV shows. I've seen numerous clips of TV shows I've never, never watched online. You've been a busy lady over the last few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> to say the least. I'm very lucky, but that's all I ever wanted. I just wanted to work hard and just and work. That's all I wanted, really. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all coming home, the dream come true, the Kentish girl makes worldwide fame. <laughs> what what more can you ask for? Well, worldwide, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> and you've got a good family back in as well, from what I've read. Oh yes, my family are very supportive. They they wanted my dream for me as much as I did. So um there was no chance of giving up, even when you feel deflated throughout the years because it's not easy it's very difficult and my family was driven behind me was like no get up again keep going so I'm very blessed for that because I, I understand not everyone has that so I'm very uh, lucky yeah and I've seen some clips where you were saying about the the, the mental process is also very you very you develop a very durable mental process in this as well you've got to keep yourself up all the time to a degree hmm oh, oh, what process a metal process Mental. Mental. Yeah. Oh, mental. Yes, a hundred percent. Because people people have an opinion, especially during the BGT process. Um, even now people say some nasty things, but it is what it is. Just just build up a wall and carry on. Life's too short to worry about who you upset um when you don't mean to upset. When yeah. it, you yeah. know what I mean, you know. All I can control is how I deal with it, not not what they're saying and doing. So that's right. And in the end of the day, Sid, you do it your way or my way, as the record says. There you go, mate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, thanks for your time. Have a great tour, and maybe we'll meet you in person one of these days, Sid. Oh, I hope so, Clive. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Take care. Take care, mate. Bye. Bye.